Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, aka Aeron, and I am back for another episode of Skyrim tonight. Uh, it's actually quite late into the evening now, we're, we're speeding towards uh, 8 o'clock in the evening here in the UK. Um, so some of you might have already caught my other two videos that I put up earlier on today. Actually, no, I tell a lie, you'll only have caught one of them because the second one I've only just managed to get onto YouTube in the fact that I had a few connection issues, so I do apologise for that, but it's now up there anyway. Anyway, so I thought I would carry on for a little bit now tonight while I've got a, a spare half an hour or so to squeeze in another video. And in today's episode, we're going to continue on uh, basically just uh, ploughing through the story for a moment, you know, uh, just basically another day in the office, really, if you will. So let's go ahead and make our way up here and have a no chit chat with the Yarl. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irelel and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a, As a token, token of my esteem, esteem. I have I instructed Avanichi that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armor. Well, to be honest, we're, we're going to go after a much better property anyway. No. And I'll be covering that um, in the next couple of episodes. the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing here. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Right, so it seems we have now been asked to go and make our way to one of the towers. I am the uh, Apparently, it's under attack, and we're to go and basically aid and assist. Now, once we complete this quest, it will unlock for us um, our companion Lydia, whom we can have travelling around with us. It's an option, uh, optional thing, you don't have to have a travelling around with you, but I would recommend having a companion in the fact that they can um, carry some of your equipment for you, so you can essentially you know, loot more stuff without having to worry too much about maxing out your own weight load. Now obviously your companion's only going to be able to carry so much as well, so do bear that in mind. But still, at the end of the day, like I said, it, it's still very helpful. And I still cannot get over how good the graphics are in this game. It's such a beautiful world. It's a shame. I actually had a, a, a brief go at the VR version of this. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't play for very long. Uh, it gave me. Uh, a bit of motion sickness, unfortunately. It was something that I don't normally suffer from, but um, <laughs> in this instance, unfortunately, it messed me up. But from what I saw of it through the VR headset, it was pretty damn amazing. So we just gotta wait for what's her name to get here and debrief us. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. So we now have found out that a dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower, which is the tower we're going to be heading towards in a moment. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. Dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourself Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me? Now this dragon we're going to be killing is actually a relatively weak one. It shouldn't be too difficult to take down. And I should also point out that beyond that, you don't usually get any dragon sightings after this until you hit at least rank ten, I believe it is. And also, when you hit rank 10, it's only going to be the standard dragons that you'll stumble across. Well, there, put my tongue back in my mouth. Um, I was going to say, now I'm not 100% certain on this, so don't hold me to it, but I believe it's 
from level 20 onwards you will start to potentially see blood dragons I believe level 30 is where you'll start seeing uh, elder dragons and then from level 40 uh, it will be revered dragons and then from level 50 and above you have got this chance of actually stumbling across the mighty legendary dragon now I have actually not stumbled across one of these yet my friend has um, and if I'm honest up until recently it was quite the holy grail for the pair of us I mean he's man like I say he's managed to find one I'm still on the other hand still searching because um, they are quite a rare um, sighting but they are by far, pardon me, the toughest um, dragons in the game. Well, next to Alduin anyway. <clears throat> okay, so the watchtower that we're headed for is just over yonder. I'm not really sure whether to use my bow or whether to use my sword at this point. Actually, there is one thing we can do. What we can do here is I'm going to show you guys a little trick here. So if you want to be able to access your shit nice and easily and quickly, what we want to do is go into our inventory here and hit triangle on the equipment that we want to favourite, basically. Uh, so we'll also click on that one. And in this instance, the iron arrows. And by putting them in our favourites, what we can now do is hit up on the D-pad and have quick access to anything we want that's in that list. So we won't have to keep faffing about going into our inventory um, to grab what we're trying to get our hands on. We can literally just go into the favourite bar and pull it straight from there nice and quickly. No fuss, no muss. Now I realise that most of you that are going to be watching these videos probably already know all this shit anyway. I'm fully aware of that the game has been out for quite some considerable time I know but I still figured I might as well give it a go anyway I am so glad I turned my notifications off Right, so at this point we're going to go ahead and equip our arrows and our bow. Because I think at this moment in time our bow is probably the better weapon to be trying to use against it. Over here. Where is it? There it is. Unfortunately, at the moment, with the fact that we're using iron arrows, we're not going to be able to do too much damage. So this dragon is known as... Uh, oh God, I can't pronounce that. Uh, Mirunir. Mir 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 oh, I can't pronounce that name. It's such a confusing name. I don't know where they get these names from. Taking a big hit. Ooh, I'm glad I got that shot off when I did. That could have turned nasty. Right. Uh, oh dear. Take the money. Now the dragon bones and the dragon scales are used for making the dragon armor, which we're not going to have access to just yet. Although, with my... Um, Ooh, that's an interesting bow. Uh, with my faster levelling up mod that I've stuck on, I should be able to get my smithing up a bit faster. So it's, it's the only mod that I've chucked on. I'm not really a big fan of cheats and mods, if I'm honest. I don't mind using them from time to time when I'm bored and I'm just generally having a bit of a laugh and a giggle, but... Um, 
So we've now got the second piece of our unrelenting force. Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Uh, so we can go with either or of these options. I'm going to go with the bottom one, actually. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. So at this point, we're going to um, go into our shouts here, and we'll go ahead and equip the unrelenting force. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragon. Those born with the dragon blood. So at the moment our shout's not as powerful as it could be, but once we get the other two parts to it, it'll be so much more powerful. Right, so at this point, we can go ahead and make our way back into White Run. And collect our rewards. And then our next piece of the story is going to take us up to the throat of the world, which is pretty much the tallest mountain on the map. So um, it's going to be quite a climb, although we won't be going all the way to the top of it. For one simple reason of we can't get to the top of it just yet. And that noise we have just heard is the Greybeard summoning us. But we're not going to be going up there just yet. First things first, like I said, we're going to go claim our rewards and then we'll see what other trouble we can get ourselves into. In fact, I think actually once I've collected my rewards, we can start doing optional content uh, and other quests and whatnot, and actually might even start working on uh, setting up our accommodation. Of course that's going to require money, so the first thing I'll do is I'll show you guys how I farm up money. Um, the way I do it is a little bit cheesy, but hey, it works. Look, you already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. That's another little side quest there, but we're not going to worry about that too much right now. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Uh, oh, God. Almost had a child plow into us just then. Hello again, Lucia. Could you spare a coin? Uh, We'll do one better than that for you later once we've got ourselves a home. I always adopt the same two children. I don't know why, it's just, just the ones that I picked, really. And I always seem to stick with <coughs> tradition. I don't particularly have any preference as to which ones I adopt. I just usually go after the same two. Well, I say I go after the same two. Sometimes I rotate a little bit. Um, Good, you're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? Well, we absorbed the power from it. Well, what we actually absorbed was the dragon's soul. Masters of the way of the voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. 
The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thule or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiceptin himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this... what? Dragon. Hold your tongue, knave. Puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions. But we are the ones who are going to slaughter Alduin once and for all. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that what are these great Although we do have a very long way to go before we get to that point and a lot of grinding to do. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you. And the Greybeards heard. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder if the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Yarn. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house car, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of being Thane does have its perks. Um, if you're set up right, uh, if you, <laughs> so you accidentally commit a crime you didn't actually intend to do, you can actually bribe them off and stuff like that by saying that you're the thing. Yarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Lead the way. So yeah, we'll have Lydia come with us then. Right. So. For now, we're just going to ditch that quest for a minute. We'll just put it on hold. Because we're not going to bother with that one just yet. I mean, we will do at some point soon. Um, but what I would like to do next is actually start working on uh, building our house. Uh, and for those of you that have not played this game before, you're probably now thinking, what do you mean, build your own house? How on earth can you do that sort of thing? Well, with the Heath or Hearthfire DLC, they have given us the ability to build a house on three it's different locations. One of which is near Folk Reef, one near Dawnstar, and the third one near Morthor. And the one we're I going for is going to be so the Folk it's Reef one, which is known as Lake that. View. We're looking for someone in white. We'll pay good money for information. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Red gun, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiteland, so we will be in Rorik's if you learn it. She cannot hide from us forever. And after that little uh, interruption, right. First things first. What we're going to do is we're going to have Lydia wait here. Because if we get her to follow her from this point, she is just going to get in the way. So to make money, what I tend to do is a little glitch that I learned from a friend. 
It's actually quite well known by a lot of people, to be fair. Oh, God. There we go. Uh, and what we're going to do is we can just up and out the window. And I know this is a bit cheesy. Fully aware of that. And what we've got to do next is make our way around the edge of uh, White Run. And uh, I think it's a bit further around we need to go. Trying to find the right spot now. I think it's have I gone too far or am I in the right spot? Might be a bit further around actually. Uh, I think it's up here somewhere. Hang on. Um, I know you have to go quite far up to get to it. Oh, oh God, I've fallen through. Where is it? It's been a while since I've done this. I've got to get my bearings a moment. So do please bear with me one moment while I just try and work this out. I think I might have gone too far across. Oh god, I've got myself stuck. That's not good. Oh, there we go. Uh, no. Uh, ah, here we go. So it's just in that little corner piece there. And what we're going to do is... If I can get out of this gap. There we go. If we make our way just over... Bit further over, you can see there's this chest here that belongs to our good friend the Skyforge blacksmith that's just above us. Let me just get the height that I need to reach the chest. There we go. And as you can see, we can pretty much rob any equipment out of here that we want, and then we can either sell it on or you know do whatever with it. So we're going to take a few bits out of here, and also you'll get about a thousand gold a time. We're going to take these ingots as well because we're going to need those for our house. Uh, we're going to take these leather and leather strips as well because we're going to need those. And we can take that as well. And then... Uh, is there anything else here really worth us keeping? Oh, I could take that and sell that as well, I suppose. Oh, I think we're carrying too much now aren't we um, our weight's still not quite great let me see what I can ditch here that we don't need so could get rid of that uh, could get rid of that Probably get rid of the iron war hammer as well because that's not really worth much. There we go. Should be able to move in. And then uh, once you're done looting the box, you just make your way over this way. You can get back inside White Run. And then basically at that point, what you want to do is go up to the Sky Lord blacksmith, just have a quick chin wag with him, you know, talk to him. And then you want to, I believe, you want to fast forward time by about 24 hours. And then his stock should, in theory, restock itself. A lot of and you can basically rinse and repeat. God God be praised. So we'll go ahead here and just sell off what we've just robbed. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll get rid of 
of those because we'll switch to the iron boots. That can go and we can also get rid of some of this other crap that we don't need. There we go. And the steel battle axe can go as well. And just like that we're now up to 2500 gold. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Uh, I'll just go ahead and equip those boots as well because we're running around barefooted right now and that's not good. Uh, where are they gone? There they are. Right. So I think I'm going to bring this episode to an end now. We've actually covered a fair bit. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to go and sort out farming up a little bit more money. And in next episode I'll be showing you how you can cheaply and easily get your hands on more of those materials that you need to, to sort out the bits of your house and also where to find the wood that you'll need for your house and I'll also be showing you how we can unlock um, Lakeview Manor which is the one we're going for. Uh, just a little bit of info for you to go away with as well so you know how much money to grind up you're going to want about five grand to purchase the land in which you're going to be building on and then i'd say you probably want about another two three grand on top for um, purchasing wood and stuff because the wood unfortunately is the only thing you can't get for free but everything else you should be able to get your hands on without actually paying for it and like i say i'll show you next time how to do that so anyway i'm going to wrap things up here i hope uh, and if you like what you've seen in this video then let me know in the comment section hit that like button or be subscribed to the Dark Swordsman Gaming Guys channel and I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye for now.